hey guys welcome back to my channel uh, today's video is uh, going to be about a couple of pieces I bought from a really lovely brand called Mod and Joe uh, if you guys don't follow Michelle Wong on YouTube, I highly suggest you go ahead and subscribe to her channel. I really, really love Michelle. She's super sweet. Uh, all of her videos are very informative. She is the queen of luxury beauty on YouTube. And I actually saw these pieces. Uh, she had mentioned them in one of her like jewelry videos and i absolutely love them and i was very intrigued by them so i went on the site and i purchased uh, those two pieces so without further ado let's get started so this is the it just comes in this um box and then when you open it on the inside i've already um worn these pieces so i'm gonna be doing a review i kind of just put it back in the boxes i wanted you guys to get an idea of how it comes uh packaged so on the inside of the box you get a postcard and then under the postcard you have the tissue paper with a beautiful sticker and then you've got that really beautiful mauve pink box so you get a postcard and on the back you get an explanation of how to care for your pieces depending on their material. So it says every piece within our collection is thoughtfully created using quality materials so that each item can continue to be treasured over time. Show your new pieces some love with our care guide. So you have the 14 karat gold filled, 14 karat gold vermil and 18 karat gold plated. So it just gives you directions on how to care for each piece depending on what you ordered. And then uh, on the bottom it says, when you're not wearing your jewelry, keep each piece in its pouch. This reduces the risk of scratching and prevents contact of environmental elements that can cause metals to tarnish or dull. So the one of the pieces I ordered is actually featured in this postcard. I think it's like one of their best sellers. I did not pay. Uh, full price for these pieces. I did get them 30% off and I did wait for a sale. Um, so I highly encourage you guys to go ahead and wait for a sale before you order these items. So this is the box. It's so beautiful. It's got this little tab. It is cardboard, but it is um, very sturdy, hard, and it just has modern Joe embossed on the top. So when you pull it out, you have your pouches. And on the inside, uh, the first pouch I have looks like this, and it has the Mod and Joe um, embossed on the bag. This is velvet, or it feels like velvet. And this is the first piece. It's really, really pretty. Um, it's chunky, so if you don't like uh, chunky jewelry, this is not gonna be for you. This is a 16 inch um, necklace, and it retails for $88. It is gold plated, and this one is called the Madison Necklace. This sits pretty high up, so it's gonna sit right at the neckline as you can see and then the second piece I ordered is called the Halley chain necklace and that retails for $136 that one is gold filled and it is an 18 inch um, necklace it is very simple so it's very easy to layer uh, you can pretty much, this would be the necklace that you can layer with anything. So let me go ahead and show you how I wear this. I know Michelle has no idea who I am, but if you ever watch this video, I just want you to know that you make me spend so much money. Thank you for that. My bank account, um doesn't really think you're the best but I do 
So let me go ahead and just pull up my sweater so that you guys can see how this layers. So it's just two inches longer than the um, Madison uh, necklace and I wear them together. I really like it. I've had these for about a month and a half now and I wear perfume. I live in Florida so the humidity is serious here and it hasn't changed. It hasn't tarnished. I really enjoy these pieces. Um, the Halle brace, the necklace, which is a thin one, doesn't weigh at all. But the Madison does have a bit of weight to it. So if you're the type of person who does not like weighty jewelry, you're not going to like this necklace at all. Um, the pieces of Modern Joe compared to Ana Luisa, I feel like Ana Luisa uh, is a bit more affordable. However, um, Modern Joe are constantly having sales so it comes out to about the same price and I think the quality is great um, very sturdy the opening closure of the thin um, necklace is very easy I know if you guys watched my Ana Luisa video which I'll go ahead and link down below in case you guys wanted to check that out there was the David bracelet. It was super hard to open and close and put on. Uh, if I would have known that, I wouldn't have purchased that bracelet. Uh, but I don't have any issues with the two pieces, these two pieces I bought. I really enjoy them. I think it's a beautiful gift, something unique that you can uh, give to somebody. And the site also has sets. So the most popular set on the site from what I can tell because it's constantly selling out and coming back in stock is this one that they uh, have featured on their postcard which is the Madison necklace with this serpent pendant uh, necklace. I'm not really into serpent uh, anything um, or animals of any sort on my jewelry. I kind of like my jewelry very plain, uh, timeless, something that I can wear for years and years and years and not have to worry about, you know, if it's too, if it's out of trend, you know, last season, etc. But I really enjoyed these pieces. I think they look very nice. Uh, I like the fact that uh, you've got one, I don't wear a lot of chunky jewelry neck, uh, jewelry period. This Madison, necklace is as far as I take it. That's as chunky as I get. Uh, and I like layering it with the Halle chain just because I think it complements it well because to me the star of the show is the Madison necklace so I don't want to add something chunkier that's going to take away the attention of the Madison necklace. So I really enjoyed it. Uh, I've been, like I said, I've been wearing them for a month and a half. And although it's technically like winter season here, let's face it. I mean, in Florida, you'll probably get, I think in like the end of December, January, you will go down into the 30s here where I live. And yeah, that's really cold for a Floridian. But most of the time, even when it's cold, our humidity levels are really high. And that was really what I wanted to see, like if that was going to tarnish these pieces. But they've held up really well. My Ana Luisa pieces have held up wonderfully. Um, I, and I, I absolutely love it. Now, the type of gold on this is a very soft kind of gold, um, especially the uh, Madison necklace it's not like that like bright like yellow gold it just complements the skin you know it's much softer so it's gonna go really well with anything that you wear i think it's a great christmas present or a birthday present uh for anybody who has a birthday uh during the month of december but yeah, that pretty much concludes this very quick uh, review of my necklaces. I do not shower with them. I, I don't even shower with my like real gold, uh, 
you know, jewelry. Like, I don't, I just can't. I made the mistake many years ago of showering with a pair of earrings on and that's because I forgot to take them off and they were real diamond earrings and I lost one and I still have the other one just sitting there so if you guys have any ideas of what I should do with that one diamond earring that I have that I no longer have a pair to let me know because I uh just been looking at it for years and years and years. As a reminder, don't shower with your jewelry on. I also don't sleep with my jewelry. I cannot. It's the most uncomfortable feeling in the world, especially earrings. They like stab the back of my ear or uh, the necklaces will, you know, depending on what kind you wear, you can find yourself in a very vulnerable situation at night. Uh, you could be dreaming, you could be changing positions. I feel like someone's choking you. So, no, no, I will. I also do not sleep with my uh, jewelry. But anyway, again, <laughs> I'm gonna stop rambling. That completes this video. If you own any of Modern Joe's jewelry pieces, uh, if you could leave me a comment down below, I would love to know what you own, what your thoughts are, how they've held up, etc. Oh my gosh, I need a drink of parched. Are you guys a chugger or are you guys sippers? Leave me a comment down below, I'd love to know. Anyway, I'm sorry. That completes this video. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.